channel and welcome back if you are a subscriber now i'm smiling because i am so pleased with my face like i'm so pleased with it it looks so nice and guess what i used mostly black owned makeup brands and i am so happy about that especially with everything that's been going on it's been uh, i don't even want to get into it but just know that that's been a thing for me lately trying to find black owned businesses and just supporting black owned businesses and i feel like makeup brands is another huge thing and i've come come across so many black owned makeup brands that i never knew existed and i was just like wow like i couldn't believe it so without further ado i'm gonna get straight into the video and show you guys how i created this beat look stay tuned I'm going to start off by using the Sasha Mattifier Face Primer. I absolutely love this primer. It's amazing for when you're on holiday and it's really, really hot outside. And just generally, it's a really, really good primer if you've got oily skin. Definitely a good buy, guys. You should check them out. Next, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Suede and I'm going to apply that to my eyelids. So this will basically act as a base for my eyeshadow. It makes it last longer and it also neutralizes the color of my eyelids as well. So here I'm taking a nice big fluffy brush and I'm just literally just buffing in that color and just making sure that it looks seamless. I'm taking the Sasha Buttercup setting powder to set my eyelids. You definitely don't want to skip this part because your eyelids are one of the most oiliest places on your face. So you definitely want to set it with a powder. Taking my Sahara blush palette from Juvia's Place, I'm taking that beautiful purple shade and just buffing it into my crease. I'm using the Firm Blender Brush from Wolfie. So you basically just want to keep blending until you're happy with the colour payoff. There's no time limit to this because I feel like people feel like, you know, um, blending takes like three seconds. It doesn't. You just keep blending until you're happy with the pigment and um, the blend generally because obviously you want it to look kind of like airbrushed you don't want it to look too um like unblended so you want to just keep blending that until you're happy with the result Taking the Zulu palette from Juvia's Place, I'm going to apply this pink matte eyeshadow just above where I've put that purple shade. The brush that I'm using is the Pro Firm Blending Crease Brush by Morphe. In the same palette i'm going in with my firm blender brush from morphe and this purple matte eyeshadow and i'm just applying this just in front of where i've put that dark purple color as you can see i'm only shading in at least a quarter of my eye and I'm focusing just on the outer corners. I'm 
now I am just taking this rose gold kind of it's like a rosy pink kind of shimmery color and I am just applying that to three quarters of my lid so I was finding it a little bit tricky to apply this because it's a little bit of a powdery color I wasn't really feeling the color the consistency so I was trying to like create a crop crease but at the same time it just yeah I was kind of like swapping between um, techniques here as you can see I was kind of like testing out a few new brushes I bought from Morphe but I definitely won't be using this brush again for like a shimmery lid color another thing if I had actually wetted my brush um, with some water or rose water is what I usually use the color would have been a lot more pigmented so next time that's definitely something I would do So here I'm taking the pink shade I used earlier and I'm applying that in between the purple and the shimmery pink colour I used on my lid. I'm basically taking the brush and using like a swiping motion and going right in between those two colours. So you want to keep doing that until they both look really soft and really blended so you've got that nice transition of colour. So next I'm taking that dark purple shade called Abbey and I'm just using that shade to deepen the outer corner of my eye. This will just help with the smoke effect. So I'm taking my black opal true colour foundation in the shade Hazelnut with my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush and I'm literally just buffing that colour into my skin. This is quite a full coverage foundation guys, I mean if you wanted something a little bit more sheer you probably would need to use quite a small amount because you do get quite a lot of coverage with this foundation. It's actually really really nice and the, cover, the colour is quite pigmented but it lasts on the skin for a long long time, it's actually a really nice foundation. So next I'm using my stick foundation from Black Opal in the shade Rich Caramel and I'm using that as my concealer. So obviously as you know this is a foundation guys but as a concealer oh my god it just looks so flawless and again it just lasts for so long. The only thing I don't really feel about it is the fact that it's a cream and I don't really enjoy putting creams under my eyes but this one sets pretty good. As long as you don't take too long to set it, it's really, it, it still works out. But it's just so flawless and yeah, I just love using it. So next I'm taking my Fenty Matchstick in Espresso and I'm using this to contour my face. I'm just taking the stick around my forehead, under my cheekbones, down the sides of my nose and also around my chin. This will help just kind of like elongate the face. I really wanted this look to be quite snatched and contoured so I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty matchstick in suede and I'm just using that just under where I've contoured under my cheeks. I'm taking this flat top brush I got from Primark and I'm just using this to blend out that foundation. Initially I tried to use a beauty blender with this but I put a little bit too much water in the beauty blender so it was kind of like taken off the product so I decided to go in with the brush instead and honestly I prefer the brush your fingernails don't get as dirty and this brush just works so well in moving the product where I need it to be with this concealer that I've used it's quite stiff like it's not easy to blend 
so I feel like this brush just just done like a great job in blending it so I'm definitely going to start using this brush more to blend out my concealer so I'm just taking the same brush and I'm just working the product into my skin um, with this you kind of just want to use a sweeping motion I was trying to like pat it and blend it that way but it's better if you kind of just use a sweeping motion because you don't want you want to kind of like blend that product in well you don't want that concealer to be visible underneath your cheekbones because that's just not going to look cute guys <laughs> so now I'm just taking the brush and I'm literally just blending out that concealer or foundation should I say it is a little bit of a workout I'm not even gonna lie to you guys but the end result is just ugh, you'll, you'll see guys you'll see now I'm gonna take my C185 brush from Royal and Lanical and I'm just gonna use that to blend in my contour so I'm basically brushing upwards into the cheek because you don't really want your contour blending downwards because the whole point is to lift your face so you kind of want to blend upwards into the cheeks and this bit you definitely want to pay attention to blending it because you don't just want to have two lines at the sides of your face that's just not gonna be cool so just make sure you spend a bit of time blending that out Now I'm going to take my Flawless Concealer Brush from e.l.f. to blend out my nose contour. So I'm just blending inwards. So this will help keep that sh nice straight shape. So I kind of blended away the um, cheek contour a little bit. So what I did was what I went back in with this suede matchstick and just to kind of clean up that contour and I'm just using the same brush to blend that in. So when you're working with creams, you've got to be really fast in terms of setting it. So I get quite um, creasy under eyes, so I had to go back in with that brush just to make sure I've got no crease in before I apply my powder. So next I'm taking my Sasha Buttercup powder and I'm using this to set my under eyes. I like to use a damp beauty blender because I feel like it helps with creasing and it just helps you to achieve a flawless under eye. So I'm just putting that setting powder everywhere where I put the um, concealer or the foundation so this will just set um, those areas you definitely don't want to skip this bit especially as we used creams um, I have really oily skin so setting is like a key um, part to doing my makeup definitely have to set guys I'm going to take my Sasha face powder and I'm just going to dust a little bit all over my face so this will just help to kind of take down a bit of that brightness and it just helps to just mattify my face further because I don't really like oily skin I don't like radiant skin I do like my foundation to look quite matte so this just helps with that 
I'm just using a Real Techniques powder brush. I'm going to set my contour by using this face powder by Vault Cosmetics. It's quite a dark powder, that's why I'm using it as a contour shade. It's quite a lot on my deeper skinned clients, but it's a really nice contour colour because it's quite a warm brown and I love it. So now I'm just using my tapered crease brush from Morphe to set my nose contour with the same powder. Felt like it was looking a little bit harsh so I just took my powder brush to kind of soften those lines a little bit. Going back to my Saharan brush palette from Juvia's Place, I'm taking the shade Zane and applying it to my cheeks and I'm just kind of applying it right above where I've put that contour, so right towards my hairline. Using the highlighter Zara, I'm going to apply this to my cheekbones. I was kind of feeling cute today so I decided to apply some to the tip of my nose and also the bridge of my nose. This just helps to kind of like define the nose area and it just helps to add a nice little glow. So now I am taking the purple shade in my Zulu palette and applying that to my under eyes. I'm going back in with that pink shade we used earlier and I'm just using a smaller pencil brush to apply that just under that purple so this will just help give you a nice smoky effect and it just helps to finish the eyes off really nicely. So now I'm going to take my espresso match tick and apply it on the outside of my lips just like you would a lip liner. I find that it's a lot softer than using a lip liner and I just love the shade of this. And I'm taking my match tick in cinnamon and I'm applying it as a lipstick. Really enjoying these match sticks. You can do so much with them. They can be used in so many different ways and because they're like really not oily and they dry quite matte they just look really nice. So here I'm just adding any old clear lip gloss and I'm applying that to my lips just to kind of make it a little bit more glossy and so that it just, it just pops a little bit more. Mmm, that is so pretty. Look at that. Love it. I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And obviously don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And also don't forget to click on the notification bells. Okay guys, until next time, take care. Bye.